welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lauren. <laughs> I just feel so crazy because I feel like I have not said that in so long. I miss y'all so much. I hope you guys miss me as well. I have really, for these last two weeks, I really don't have an excuse. You know, we were out of the country last week, but the week before that, I have honestly just been struggling with trying to figure out what recipes to give you guys. Please comment below what recipes you want to see. I don't know if you guys want to see like easy things, some things that I feel are easy, you guys might not feel are easy. I don't know if you want to see hard things, if you want me to concentrate on techniques or flavors. I mean, I need all the guidance I can get because I be running out of ideas, y'all, for real. But I am so glad to be back this week. We are not going to let another week go by. And today, I thought I would switch it up a little bit. I decided to make bread pudding with a vanilla Hennessy cream sauce. It's going to be so good. Bread pudding is one of my favorite desserts. If you guys recall back when I went out for my birthday a few months ago, that's what I got for my dessert because I am obsessed okay and I can't wait to show you guys how to make this tonight so before I get started I'm just going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to get started on our custard so the egg and milk mixture which makes the custard is the number one like the most important thing oh my gosh I got a, a shell in there it's the most important thing when making your um, bread pudding. The ratio between egg and milk has to be um, A1 or it's just going to kind of seep into the bread. The bread is going to be soggy and nasty and it's never going to be um, thick like a custard once you finish baking it. I don't know what I like more about um, bread pudding, the bread or the sauce. They both taste so good. So I'm just gonna whisk up these eggs. And I like to whisk the eggs up first because they get kind of difficult to break up in milk. And then also, you don't want those like white pieces of um, egg in your bread pudding. So when you mix the egg up first, that'll avoid that. So I'm just gonna beat these up until they're nice and uniform. And to this, I'm going to add half and half. I like using half and half um, or heavy cream rather than just milk because it'll give you that custard-like finish, like I was saying, instead of um, the milk. Because milk is much thinner than half and half. So I'm just going to mix this all up as well. So as you can see, it has that pale yellow color. If your custard is like white, then you know you have too much cream or too much milk. Ooh, this is a perfect consistency. Now I'm gonna add in some vanilla. This is vanilla extract. I'm also gonna add in light brown sugar, as well as cinnamon. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is just a few dashes of nutmeg. I hate nutmeg. I think I've told you guys this before, but if you like nutmeg, you can maybe add like a half teaspoon. I'm literally just gonna do two dashes like that because nutmeg is so strong and I can taste it. So I'm just gonna whisk all of this together. And it kind of gets a little messy to whisk with the cinnamon. So make sure you mix it all in. This is looking so good already in the smell. Mm. I think I told you guys this before. If certain things you can't taste like this, I'm not going to be able to taste it because it already has raw eggs in it. Sometimes you can just smell something or I don't know about y'all nose, but sometimes I can just smell something and you can kind of smell if it's seasoned or not. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but trust me, you really can. Alright, so this is what our custard is looking like right now. It has all those big specks of cinnamon. I see some nutmeg in there. And it's really thick to my whisk. It's not too thin. So I'm just going to sit this aside for a second. And we're going to start working on our bread. This is the bread that I'm using. This is the Pepperidge Farm Raisin Cinnamon. Actually, I don't know why it says cinnamon raisin. Why does it say raisin cinnamon? Anyway, 
raisin cinnamon um, bread. I've also made this recipe with their French toast bread. Um, they have a couple different types of bread. When I was just in there, I saw blueberry. I've never seen the blueberry before, and I've seen strawberry as well. So um, you can use whatever kind you like. I really don't even like raisins. But I'm just doing this for y'all because I felt like the raisins would look good in the bread pudding. But, you know, if I wasn't making this for y'all, I would just have the regular French toast bread. Oh, they also have um, cinnamon, cinnamon bread as well. So I'm going to use this entire loaf. This is what it looks like when it comes um, out of the pack. The bread is nice and moist. Now, you're supposed to use day-old bread when you're making bread pudding because the staleness will help absorb the custard, but I didn't have time for that today. But if you have time, you know, just sit it out. So I'm gonna cut this in about mm, half inch to one inch cubes. So I'm gonna cut it down the side. Mm, the bread smells so good and so fresh. And then I'm gonna turn it the opposite way and cut it in cubes. So there's our first cubes, as you can see, they look, oh my gosh, this, mm, let me just. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, the bread is already so good. I'm gonna start adding this to our custard. And as I cut up more, I'm just gonna add it into the custard. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other half. I'm gonna take out the whisk at this time and I'm gonna start using my hands your hands are your best tools. Don't ever like be scared to use it. Use them. So I'm just gonna mix up all of that bread right into the custard. Oh my gosh. This smells so good, y'all. All the cinnamon and sugar and everything that I just mixed into the custard and then all of the cinnamon raisin bread. It tastes so, I mean, it smells so good. So what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit so that the bread can kind of absorb. You see all the custard that we have left at the bottom so that the bread can kind of absorb all the rest of this custard. I'll probably let it sit for maybe 15 to 20 minutes so that it can kind of soak up all the rest of the custard. So I'm just mash it down and leave it alone for a little bit and you can leave it uncovered all right y'all so it's been about 15 minutes and as you can see the bread has soaked up most of the custard so we're in a good position right now so i have this bacon dish right here and i'm going to spray it with pam so that our bread pudding does not stick and then i'm just going to add all of our bread pudding right into this baking dish Ooh. look at that yo look how that just just fell in there look at this drip look at this drip man drip or drip mm, that looks so good i just want to smooth it out a little bit with my hands mm, this is going yo i'm just so excited for this y'all don't even understand Okay, so this is about to go into the oven. It's gonna cook for about 30 to 35 minutes until you stick a fork on the inside and it's no longer wet when the fork comes out. So like I said, that'll take like 30, 35 minutes and it's just gonna be so moist when it comes out. I'm gonna start cooking the sauce um, when we have about 10 minutes left because it has all that high sugar content. We don't want it to burn. So we're gonna get started on our sauce in a little bit. But for right now, this is going into the oven. All right, y'all, so the bread pudding just came out of the oven and we're ready to make our cream sauce. Um, it's really, really easy to make. So that's why I waited until the bread pudding came out. So we're gonna first add the honey. This is what we got on deck. I got Henry this as a birthday present a few years ago, and I'm putting it to use now. Oh, God, this stuff is strong. I don't even like henny myself, but I knew this would go good in this recipe. So I'm just gonna pour the henny into the pan. Only like a few tablespoons. We want the alcohol content to cook out, but the flavor to remain. So here it is in the pan. And then I am going to add um, some sugar. And then here I have cornstarch and milk. 
I'm gonna pour the cornstarch inside of the milk and then whisk those together. Because cornstarch, I mean, it's I have a love-hate relationship with cornstarch. It does um, thicken your sauces, but at the same time, it leaves these little dots and I just hate it. So I try to whisk it a little bit. And then I'm gonna add this right to the pan. I'm gonna turn this up on higher heat so that it can begin to thicken and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my whisk to kind of break up that cornstarch. The last thing I'm going to add is just a little bit of butter and melt that into the sauce as well. So our butter is melted, our bread pudding is finished, and now we are ready to plate. I can't wait to try it. Our bread pudding is done. I smothered the bread pudding in vanilla sauce, and I can't wait to try it. I'm going to just go ahead and cut me a piece. This tastes like a donut. <laughs> it tastes so good. The sauce kind of like breaks up the sweetness of the um, of the bread pudding, and it's not too sweet. Mmm. Mmm. And I can really taste that henny in the sauce just a little bit. So y'all go light on the henny when y'all make the cream sauce. This is so delicious, y'all. All right, guys, so that wraps up this episode of Cooking with Lawn. As you guys know, I don't typically feature dessert. So if you guys enjoyed me doing this dessert recipe and you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below or smash the like button so that I know that you guys want to see more dessert recipes. So that wraps up today's episode. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Different recipe.